Now to breaking developments in the Ken Paxton impeachment trial. Just minutes ago, the defense rested their case. This after calling their first witnesses earlier today. Our Capitol correspondent Monica Madden is live at the Capitol and Monica, the defense still had some time on the clock to question witnesses. So is this a surprise development? I would say so because of that, Daniel, we had just wrapped up cross examination from prosecutors of uh, defense's fourth witness, a current employee at the attorney general's office. And, you know, prosecutors passed the witness. And I think most of us in the room assumed that defense would have more question. But immediately lead uh, attorney for Paxton, Tony Busby, said we rest the case. And so now let's talk about some of the next steps of where this heads. We're right now I'm looking at the feed and it looks like counselors are still at the bench uh, talking with Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick about what they're going to do next, whether or not they'll go into closing arguments now, which would be the natural next step in this process. It is late in the evening, so we very well could see attorneys come back and do closing arguments tomorrow. But per the rules, they have one hour each side for prosecution and defense to make their final case to the jury before they go and deliberate and decide the fate for Attorney General Ken Paxton. Keep in mind, jurors will be doing this all privately behind closed doors when they deliberate, just like you see in any other trial. And all the 30, 30 eligible senators will be there. That does not include Paxton's wife, State Senator Angela Paxton, nor does it include Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick. Once the jurors are done with the deliberation, which we don't know how long that could take, they will come back to the Senate chamber in an open session. And then on each individual article, they will be the clerk of the court will read, you know, if if they agree to sustain the articles and it just takes one vote to sustain any of the articles to convict Paxton and remove him from office. OK, thank you for breaking that down, Monica. And earlier, a moment ago, we were talking about how the defense called their first witnesses today. Can you walk us through some of the key developments there? Well, this was defense's first time to lay their case, you know, in contradiction to what we saw from prosecutors. These were all four witnesses who were supporting Paxton, current employees at the attorney general's office who countered what we heard from whistleblowers and said they found no wrongdoing in how the whistleblowers were fired or anything like that. So it'll be a lot for jurors to think about when they head into deliberation after closing arguments. And we'll see how this plays out. All right, Monica Madden live at the Capitol. Thank you very much. Remember, you can watch the entire Senate trial each day on our website, KXAN.com. Just check out the Paxton impeachment section.